Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In the last sessions, we have seen how to work with the Gmail activity in Z Suite. So, in the same way, in this session, we will see how we can work with the Google Drive with the help of Z Suite activities by using your Path Studio. So, before starting that, so make sure you have the Z Suite activities in your pack process. So, then go to the project dependencies and just ensure you have this G Suite activities or else you can download it from all packages by searching with Google Suite activities or if you are watching for the first time you can refer my previous video so there I have shown you how to download the G Suite activities from this managed packages and along with that we need to enable the G Drive API in the cloud.google.com portal so here is the portal so here first we need to create a project so as i have already created and i shown you in the previous video so i am using the same one which is uapagnu 1209 so here go to the libraries or else go to the navigation menu so here you can see in the apis and services just go and search in the libraries as google drive So this is the API which we need to enable as I have already enabled it is showing as manage so I'm just ignoring it as now so if you once you enable this one you will see uh, a message showing it as enabled okay so for working with this let's begin with the new process And you need to generate the credentials as well. So in the last class, we have seen how to generate the credentials. So here in the API services, see go to the credentials, and there you can find the credentials which I have already created. So last session I have created over 2.2 credentials. So here we can refer those credentials in our current process. So in this session, we will see some of the activities related to the google drive so just go to the activities and search for drive so here in the z suit folder you can see some of the activities like the copy file create folder delete file download file find files and folders get file and post new file upload file so like this so let's begin with creating a folder in our drive so i already opened my drive here so here have some files in it and there are no folders as of now so let's create a new folder so let's begin with the new sequence so here i have created as create folder 1809 okay let's click on create now this will create a new sequence for us So here is the sequence. So once the sequence is uh, created, so first bring this Go G Suite application scope. So here is the application scope. Just drag and drop into it. And here in this G Suite application scope, first we need to configure type of authentication which we are going to use for accessing the G Suite and Google Drive activities. So here I am going to use this OAuth client ID as we have already created the details in the last session so i am going to use this auth credentials okay so let me copy those details from uh, the portal So here I have the credentials, client ID and client ID. Just copy those and paste it in the respective fields. So in the same way, copy the client secret as well from this application. Okay, so now we have separate this uh, these set of applications group and 
let's go to the Google Drive activities. So I will take this create folder into my designer panel. So here, so by default, it will be with the name as untitled folder. So I am going to rename it like this as UI path folder. Okay. And here we need to provide the folder ID or we need to mention as root. So root in the sense, so a new folder will be generated here. If you mention this field as root, so the folder with the name UI path folder will be created in this home page of Google Drive or else if you have any existing folder so that folder will get copied into that particular file ID folder okay so here in, if you observe in the properties so here we have folder description so that is not a mandatory field you can ignore it file folder name so I want to create a folder with the name as your path folder and parent ID I just want to create a folder in the home page of a Google Drive. So that's why I'm keeping it as root and in the output folder. So we'll get one folder ID. So I'll show you how we can use this one. So I'll store this as of now into a variable called folder ID. Okay. So for time being, I will just print this one as well. So with the help of our right line activity, we we'll print the folder ID in the output panel. So I'll take this right line activity and I'll mention the folder ID variable. Okay. Now this will print the folder ID which is created with the help of uh, this great folder. So let's run this now. So before running this, we need to configure the scopes. So if you click on auto detect, so this activity will automatically check the activity whatever we have created based on the two body. It will check these boxes. So here these are all belongs to drive.app data, drive.file, all are belonging to the drive. So as we are working on the folders, it is not Selecting this web website. Okay. So once we are using it uh, files or uploading files or downloading files or deleting or moving or closing the files, then we will need to check this website drive Okay. So as of now it will only check the first item. So along with that I will just mention this timeout with uh, ten thousand. Sorry, one lakh is okay, one lakh many seconds. Okay, so let's begin this execution with the help of the debug button. My well, execution is started. So now it is asking for the permissions to access my Google account. Let's click on the user account and we'll grant the permissions. So we we'll click on hello. So click on hello. So now it is showing as this is a verification code. You will not close this issue. So I'll close this one. Okay, I see some issue here. So there are no sufficient permissions. Okay, let's configure the scopes again let's check the scopes ok let me run this again so let me check all these application scopes let's try again So the application is started. Again, our browser is open. So we need to allow the permissions for our Google account. 
what ever we are configuring the port credentials so click on advance go to your path and save grant the permissions to access the google from your path so scroll down and click on hello so now we can see the message saying save verification code and close this window so and our execution is also completed so you see this yeah so our execution started and it is ended so this is happening in 42 seconds so and here if you observe in my google drive so here we have a ui path folder is generated so you can see we named it as ui path folder and so if you open this it is an empty folder okay and if you observe this one so here we have a id one by hyphen two easy xcw so if you observe in the output panel so we have printed one folder id so that is nothing but the folder ID. Okay, so here we can see this one by easy xw so on fp. Okay, so by this we can create a folder. So now what we'll do is we'll create a subfolder inside this web path folder. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'll just take this file ID. Okay, I'll copy this. So here instead of this root, I will update it as my file id which i have already created for this web path folder so inside this i will mention one folder called google drive activities and i will check that the, and then we will check the folder id which is generating here or is matching with the, the folder id generated in the person okay so let's run this again so this time our folder Google Drive activity should be created inside the your path folder. Okay, I'll open this one as well. So now the execution is also completed as you can see here. So now this time it is showing a different ID. So if you observe this, the ID of your path folder is and the folder ID of the Google activities are different. Okay. So let's check this one. So we have a go folder called Google Drive Activity. So here it is displaying as blank. Okay. So like this, we with the help of this create folder activity, we can create the folders in the root or inside the existing folders with the help of the folder IDs. So that's all for now. So please do subscribe and please share the videos with your friends or colleagues and please provide your value to support to us. Thank you.